Dear students, let us start off with cell wall. It is the outermost covering of a plant cell. It is found outside the plasma membrane. It is rigid and made of a complex substance called cellulose and it provides structural strength or support to the plant. Plant cells, if they lose water, the content of the cell shrinks away from the cell wall. This condition is known as plasmolysis. Let us refer to an activity that is activity 5.6. We need to take a rio leaf and then take a epidermal peel from the lower epidermis and immediately transfer it to the petri dish containing water. This is to prevent the peel from getting dried. Then we have to stain it with saffronin and using a brush place it at the center of a clean glass slide. Put the cover slip and view it. When we view through the microscope, we can see green colored dots. These are the chloroplast which contain the pigment chlorophyll. Next, we need to remove the cover slip and pour a few drops of concentrated sugar or salt solution. Keep it for some time, that means 4 to 5 minutes and then replace the cover slip and view it through the microscope. We will see that the content of the cell has shrunk away from the cell wall. This proves that plasmolysis has occurred. Now we take another rio leaf and boil it and then take the epidermal peel from this boiled leaf and perform the same steps as we did in the beginning. Then finally view it under the microscope. We will see that there is no change in the shape of the cells. Now what does this prove? This proves that osmosis occurs only in living cells and not in dead cells. In cells especially that is bacterial cells, plant cells and fungal cells they have the capacity to withstand the external media that is very dilute external media. Thus it prevents the cell from bursting. Now this happens because when it is placed in a very dilute external medium that is in a hypotonic solution it takes up the water molecules that means it swells. Then the contents of the cell put a pressure on the cell wall and the cell wall in turn put a pressure on the contents of the cell. This helps the cell to prevent bursting. Therefore, a plant cell, a bacterial cell or a fungal cell is better equipped to face the changing external conditions than an animal cell. Next, nucleus. Nucleus is a spherical structure which is found almost in the center of a cell. It is found both in an animal cell and a plant cell. Nucleus has a double layered outer membrane. This is known as the nuclear membrane. 
The nuclear membrane is not a continuous membrane because there are pores in between and these pores are known as nuclear pores. The function of these pores is to allow the entry and exit of materials in and out of the nucleus. Found within the nuclear membrane is the jelly-like substance known as nucleoplasm. Suspended in the nucleoplasm are thread-like structures called chromatin network and a spherical structure known as nucleolus. Nucleolus helps in ribosome biogenesis while the chromatin network become rod shaped structures called chromosomes at the time of cell division. These chromosomes carry necessary information regarding the inheritance of characteristics from the parents to the next generation. These chromosomes are made up of DNA and proteins. DNA contain necessary information regarding organizing and the construction of the cell. Located on the chromosomes are units of heredity known as the genes. Now what are the roles or functions of nucleus? Nucleus has a very important role in cellular reproduction. Not only that, it is the control center of the cell and it decides what form and function the cell will be at the time of maturity. Now based on the development of the nucleus and the nuclear membrane, cells are of two types. If the nuclear membrane is absent and there is only a region called nucleoid which contains nucleic acids, then it is a prokaryotic cell. In a prokaryotic cell, the cell is small in size, the nuclear membrane is absent, only a region called nucleoid made of nucleic acid is present. Number of chromosome is 1 and membrane bound cell organelles are absent. While in a eukaryotic cell, it has a well defined nuclear membrane. It is larger in size, more than one chromosome is present and it has membrane bound cell organelles. Photosynthetic prokaryotic bacteria, the chlorophyll is associated with membranous vesicles while in eukaryotic bacteria, chlorophyll is associated with membrane bound cell organelles called plastids. Let us refer to activity 5.7. We need to rinse our mouth properly, then pull out the cheek and scrape out cheek cells using a toothpick. Place these scraped cells on a glass slide. Put a few drops of methylene blue and glycerin. Put a cover slip and view it. Then when we view it through the microscope, we can see cells. These cells do not have a definite shape, but we can see a darkly stained round structure in the center of the cell. That is the nucleus. While the lightly stained part is the cytoplasm. In animal cells, we use methylene blue. While in plant cells, we use 
saffronin but iodine can be used both in plant cells and animal cells now why do we stain cells we stain cells to differentiate between the cell organelles and to study the detailed structure of the cell and the contents of the cell now what is the cytoplasm cytoplasm is the jelly like substance which is found inside the plasma membrane it is the fluid content of the cell and present in the cytoplasm are cell organelles in eukaryotes these cell organelles are membrane bound while in prokaryotes they are not membrane bound in viruses they lack cell membrane therefore when they are outside the body of the host they do not show any signs of life once they enter the body of the host they use the machinery of the host start multiplying and thus they show signs of life next cell organelles every cell has an outer covering called cell membrane which protects it from the external medium in multicellular organisms lot of chemical activities take place in the cell which help in the proper functioning and the structure of the cell since many biochemical activities are going on these have to be kept separate this is possible because of the little structures found in the cell called cell organelles these cell organelles are membrane bound in eukaryotes while it is not membrane bound in prokaryotes each of these cell organelles have a different function and form we will be studying in detail about some important cell organelles such as the endoplasmic reticulum the golgi apparatus lysosomes mitochondria plastids and vacuoles with that we have come to the end of today's session thank you